Hey everyone, I hope you guys are catching on to how easy this really is. And that is true. So click that like button, subscribe, stay tuned to all the tutorial series that we have going on with Xcode 4.2. Now what we've got here is we've got a basic template going. We're building the application from the ground up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to insert an alert view. So you guys can understand the concept of the alert view, how it, how it works within the iPhone, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So the first thing that we're going to do is we've already in, in pl we've already put this navigation controller in place, and that's going to make it very simple as we work through each one of these elements um, that we're working through with the alert views, and then we'll go to segmented controllers and uh, all the different elements that we can use. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook a new view controller into our main template here. We're going to do that by first putting a button on the screen. And this is going to take us to the view controller that we're going to establish our alert view. And so go ahead and design whatever size button liking that uh, you'd like. We're just going to call this button alert view. We're going to make it small because I think we're going to have quite a few of these buttons just showing different concepts. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to insert a view controller from the objects menu over to the right. And I'm going to move it just a little bit because we don't want it right on top of each other to start. And so now that you've got a new view controller just for the alert, we got to hook up this the navigation controller to it. And as you can see, we don't have a bar up here, and that's what uh, the navigation controller is going to do for us. So we're going to click the button that's going to bring us to this new view controller. We're going to hold control, click and drag, and drop it on our new view controller. And we're going to use the storyboard segue of push to get it there. So this, the first thing that you see is we now have a navigation controller um, embedded within this view controller. The other thing is it, uh, it absorbs the tab bar controller from the previous navigation controller. So it already puts those elements in, us, in there without us having to actually go in and program and put them all in and assign them and all that stuff. So it's very simple to, to do that. Now as you can see we've got an arrow coming from this uh, this view controller here which is the root um, and then we've also, you can't really see it, but we have an arrow going back depending on the uh, depending on the navigation button. So we're gonna go ahead and run this now so you guys can see what has happened so far and how easy it is just to do that part of the the uh, application and so now you'll see the third bar here. It's going to be a root view controller with the button that we put on screen. When you click the button, it takes us to our new view controller, which is off to the right here. And it gives us this nice navigation bar that allows us to go back to the root view controller. So that's kind of the basics to the navigation controller. Now what we're going to do is roll into the, uh, the alert view and this is, you know, you don't have to do it this way, but I'm just setting it up so we can do individual projects. And you guys can basically figure out which, which elements you want to insert into your projects. So the last thing that we're going to do before we get into the actual programming the alert view is we're going to go change the titles here. And you can double click. And we're just going to go project elements. Wow, there we go. And you can also insert a title up here. So we're going to put uh, alert view. And again, you can double click to add a title or you can insert it within the attributes. So then when we go to the alert view, it's going to have a title of alert view. It's going to be clearly stated there. And uh, we can move forward there. The last thing that I want you guys to do, um, just so we get everything under wraps, is we're going to change the title here. So click the, the tab bar. Go up to the right in the attributes, and we're just going to label this uh, projects. And then we're just going to assign it the first image so it looks looks similar to the other things in there. So go ahead and run it one more last time so you can see that uh, just how we're cleaning up the different elements on screen for the user. All right, so now we have, uh, we have it labeled projects. We have a nice little icon here. We've got a title that we've injected, and then also a title here. So you can see the, the title of the screen is going to be the navigation element, where it's going back to. 
Alright, so in the next tutorial we're going to actually program a little bit more in the alert view in this view controller here, display an alert within there, and, uh, and then we'll keep going forward with some of the other project elements that we'll start going through. So we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.